How's it going YouTube? My name is Rich or right away and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video. So now in today's video I will be talking about the possibility of brand new weapons from past Call of Duties coming into Black Ops 3 very very soon. So if you guys do enjoy today's video definitely drop a like. 150 likes will be the goal as well as follow me on all my social media down in the description and subscribe if you're new. We are nearing 9,000 subscribers so thank you guys so so much and uh, with that being said let's jump right into the video. So like I said guys all this information is actually coming from the last guy that I talked about in my last video talking about new specialists. Uh, this guy has gotten all this intel and uh, he's actually got a lot of things right before Black Ops 3 was out and uh, I would say about 80 to 90 percent of everything he said before Black Ops 3 was released he actually got right. So this person is very very reliable and he's kind of leaking all this brand new information this old new intel uh, that could actually be correct you know you never really know but this could possibly be correct. So also I want to give a shout out to Long Sensation his link will be down in the description he's kind of like the person who kind of had this information as well so I want to credit him. But I'll show a picture on the screen right now and it says map pack weapons slash micro DLC weapons. Weapons are likely to be coming as a part of Call of Duty Black Ops 3's DLC. However, at the moment, it is not displayed on the advertising material as PlayStation wanted to reveal the first map pack, Awakening, at their press conference. Because of this, Treyarch revealed the Awakening DLC, however, have left out the other downloadable items that will come with the map pack, such as weapons and specialist characters. This list of weapons and specialists below may not come as a part of the DLC map packs, as I explained further below. The following list of weapons are likely to be implemented as either DLC map pack weapons or micro DLC weapons. The studio decides on what is released depending on monthly downloads, projections, trends, etc. For example, with Advanced Warfare's DLC, they decided after map pack 2 it was much more profitable to sell weapons as micro DLCs instead of adding them to the map pack. So here we go guys, are you ready for this list? of all these brand new weapons coming to Black Ops 3 from past Call of Duties. And I gotta say guys, this list contains a lot of awesome, awesome weapons. So anyway, this says right here, no, Activision wants to find the perfect balance of old and new DLC weapons, and the names of the weapons are consistently changing. New ideas, legal issues, etc. So anyway, here we go guys. Uh, we got the Desert Eagle, the Double Barrel Shotgun, likely the Olympia from Black Ops 1, the DSR-50 from Black Ops 2, the FAMAS from Black Ops, the Flint Lock Pistol, the FN Scar, the Thompson from World at War, the LSAT from Black Ops 2, the M1 Garand from World at War, the MDR, the MP7 from Black Ops 2, the Sawn Off Shotgun, the Turok, the Uzi, and the ZH-05. So, if you guys played any past Call of Duties, you guys are definitely familiar with the list I just kind of said. You know, we got the Desert Eagle. The Desert Eagle was such an iconic pistol in the Call of Duty series, and I would just love to see that. The DSR-50, that sniper was so iconic in Black Ops 2. You know, who wouldn't want to see that in Black Ops 3? We also got the FAMAS. We got the, the LSAT, the huge LSAT that was such a beast, the LMG in Black Ops 2. And we also got the Thompson, another iconic weapon from World at War. Uh, the MP7, an amazing SMG in Black Ops 2. So we got so much weapons coming uh, and the possibility of coming into Black Ops 3 very, very soon as DLC weapons and just kind of like downloadable content or uh, just kind of things going with map pack. I think Treyarch has such good ideas that this is very much a possibility of all these weapons coming into Black Ops 3. Now, a Call of Duty game has never added this much weapons into, you know, their new Call of Duty game. They might add like 1 to 5 or maybe 1 to 10, but never like 15 weapons. That's so much weapons, guys. But if they actually do add in every single one of these weapons, I think it'll keep, you know, Black Ops 3 very, very fresh and I think it will last to the next Call of Duty. So let me know what you guys think about all these brand new weapons coming into Black Ops 3 hopefully soon as just DLC weapons or maybe even coming with the map packs. I'm very very excited if these weapons actually come in uh, to see and just kind of see how they play out in this new Black Ops 3 game with all these new movement systems and everything like that. So once again let me know what you guys think about all these brand new weapons in the comment section down below. Let me know your opinions on all these brand new weapons and uh, which one was your favorite I listed off. I'm definitely excited for the MP7. So if you made it this far into the video like I said make sure to comment your favorite weapon I just listed off. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, definitely drop a like. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys on another video.